The movie was incredible. It was jumping, just had me, you know, rocking on my seat, you know. It was an experience of a lifetime. It was cute. It was way cute. I loved it. It was brilliant. It really was. I recommend it. It's a tear jerker. I think everybody should see this movie. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Real Reactions. I'm Omri Roland, and today I'm sitting here with the star of the new movie, The Eagle, Channing. Congratulations on the movie. Thank you, man. I Thank saw you. it last week. Cool. Everyone should definitely check it out when it comes out February 11th. I hope so, please. <laughs> um, so the movie has a lot of layers. It's a war movie, it's mm -hmm. an adventure, it's a story of friendship. What drew you to the script? Uh, Kevin McDonald first. Uh, you know, he did Last King of Scotland, State of Play. I mean, he's a beautiful filmmaker. Uh, and then Jamie came on later, and the, the script is, and it's just, it was a great, kind of weird little script in a way, was, the structure is kind of strange, but um, you know, it's, it was, it's always, always been a dream of mine to, to be able to do a period piece like Gladiator and, and uh, Braveheart are my two favorite, you know, films of all time. Pull back! Pull back! Pull back! Pull back! Pull back! Yeah, and a lot of actors, they like to study their characters before yeah. they tackle a role. <laughs> and since you can go back to like 140 AD right. to talk to <laughs> Roman soldiers, how did you prepare to become Marcus? There are these, um, there are these books that you can get, um, you know, electronic books like on Kindle and whatnot, that they're, they're essentially like diaries of the Caesars, like when they would go on campaigns and they would say every day, like what, that what would happen. You really get to see how hard it was and how incredibly dangerous and, and well thought out, and they, these guys, guys just made it an art uh, of war, you know, it was, it was crazy. Well, you knew who his father was. The man who lost the Eagle of the Ninth. Not to mention 5,000 men. The boy's a bad omen. So throughout the movie, your character carries around an eagle pendant yeah. for support. Do you have some kind of lucky charm that you carry around, or maybe a ritual that you do for good luck? Hmm. Um, good question. Um, I mean, right now I have a string on my finger because my, uh, my wedding ring was lost by um, by uh, uh, my prop master on this last movie I just uh, did. So <laughs> I, it, it's not 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 a very good story, but uh, it's funny. I mean, but it, but I mean, I guess my yeah, my my wedding ring's probably the you know my lucky charm. Was your wife a little mad about the wedding ring? <laughs> more loss? than more than just sad, upset and sad, and you know she definitely got mad. And I'm like, why are you mad at me? And, and cause it wasn't my fault, but uh, yeah, it was it was not a very good good day that day. And in this movie, I know you insisted on doing a lot of these stunts these, on yeah, your yeah. own. Yeah, what made yeah. you want to take that risk? I don't know. I mean, it, it's not so much a risk as it is like I, I feel like if you if you're not gonna do the you know if you're not gonna really try to be the character as much as you can, I mean, look, I can't ride a motorcycle or fly a helicopter, but I you know I can't fight. So I mean, I, I think that I think the audience wants to see it, and I kind of want to do it. I want to know what it feels like to. Even to, there's one, one scene where you have to fight, we fought for like, I don't know, about a minute and a half, two minutes, and it was just a melee, and it was exhausting. Like, it was absolutely exhausting. You couldn't breathe by the end of it. And these guys fought for days upon days and weeks and weeks and weeks, and I, they just must have been the hardest men on the face of the planet. Like, that's all they did. They marched, built things, and fought, and that's, that's it. I read in details that sometimes the stunts didn't go over <laughs> so well, especially on one occasion. Can you give us the yeah. briefing on that? The the brief one is, that, is on that is uh, we were in a in a river, um, uh, in like I think it was called Devil's Pulpit, and um, we were in like basically doing this river scene where we we're having to like run down the river and and lay in the in the water, and it's like hypothermic weird river water from the mountains, and uh, so we had wetsuits on, so they were pouring warm water down our our wetsuits to keep our core warm, so we could be in it all day. And uh, the very last scene after it was done, I went to go warm up and they had forgot to dilute the, the boiling water with, uh, with colder water. And it was so they <laughs> poured boiling water down my wetsuit and pretty much burned me pretty bad. But uh, no scarring, so it was good. No scarring, no so scarring, it's all no good. nerve damage. I remember I was like writhing in pain and, uh, and he's like, I know it's no consolation now, but it's good that it hurts. It means you didn't you know, get any nerve damage or anything like that, so it's good. They're coming. 